All right, today I want to show you how to build um, what I call my legless potting bench. And, you know, people laugh when I tell them that, yeah, you need a, a potting bench with no legs. But th this thing is really, really simple, but it's really versatile. And the reason that I built my original potting bench like this with, with no legs is because what I would do is I would actually take one end of it and I would rest it right on my potting soil pile. Then the other end, I would set it on a sawhorse or maybe stack up some concrete blocks. And that way, it was as close as I could get to my potting soil pile. I didn't really have to worry about uneven ground with legs legs and stuff like that. It was easier to move around without legs on it. And then I was real close. I could shovel the soil up onto the potting bench. And uh, so anyway, I used it for years and years and years like that with no legs and it worked out perfectly for me. Um, this time around, after I get done, I'm going to show you exactly how to build that one. And then this time around, I'm actually going to put some kind of a support system underneath it here. I'm going to put wheels on it, put a hitch on it so that I can carry it, could pull it around with my uh, garden tractor because for one, um, you know, back then wrestling this thing around when I was younger made me feel macho, but today I'm sure it'll just make me feel tired. And secondly, we're working with a in a, a bigger area here. We're covering more ground in this nursery and that way if there's potting soil on it I can just hook it to the tractor and move it with soil on it. It doesn't have to be empty and so on. So basically to build this thing it's very very simple. You need a sheet of plywood. This is three quarters inch thick and it's treated so that it, it's going to hold up out in the weather. And then I've got these little L-shaped brackets that we're going to use to uh, put the back and put the little side panels on. So um, again it's very very simple to, to uh, to do, I'm going to give you the dimensions here real quick. Well, the first thing I'm going to do is I measured in 18 inches, and I'm going to cut 18 inches off of here. That'll leave me 30 inches, a 30 inch piece um, for my potting bench. And then I'm going to come down here, and I'm going to measure in, and I'm going to take another 18 inches off. So this would be my first cut. I'm going to cut here and take this 18 inch piece off. And then I'm going to cut along there and take that 18 inch piece off because this will be my back. This piece right here is a, this is actually going to be scrap. And then I drew a diagonal line from here to here and these two pieces will end up being the end pieces. And then I measured in 8 inches from here to here because I'm going to cut this little point off just so that these pieces they won't be in my way when I'm setting pots and stuff up there. Um, so I, I measured so I got eight inches off here and then eight inches off here. Now when I make these cuts and, and put it all together you'll that'll make a lot more sense to you. So basically you want to measure 18 inches from here. Now do do this one first. Go 18 inches from here to here like this. That's 18 inches. Cut this piece off and then measure in here 18 inches like that and then cut that piece off. All right, let me take a break here. I'll get it cut and then we'll take a look at it. All right, I've got the plywood cut. So now my base piece, which is going to be the, the, the top, the, the part that we work on, is 78 inches long. It's 30 inches this way. And remember I told you I was going to, first thing I was going to do was to cut that piece off the end. And I showed you that uh, this piece right here was going to be the scrap. So we cut that off, that scrap, and then I'll show you what we what we end up doing here. Let me slide this apart a little bit there. So I, I cut, this is, I measured, this is 18 inches. I cut it diagonally, and then I remove, I measured in 8 inches each way, and remove those pieces. So basically, this will go right here on the end of my potting bench. And then the, eight, the long 18 inch piece that I took off, which is down there on the ground, that's going to be up here like this. So basically, it'll be sort of like this. And we're going to put it together with, those, with the brackets that I showed you. And be back in a minute and show you our finished potting bench. Okay, here we are. This is our finished legless potting bench. So the work area is 78 inches this way. And it's a, just a shade under, yeah, it's just a, about 29 and a quarter inches this way. So when you cut the wood, this is 78, this piece you're going to cut it at 30 inches. And that's going to give you 18 inches high. 
So this is 18 inches from here to here. And then as I, I showed you, I cut these little, I cut these points off. You don't have to, but the reason I do that because I want to be able to set a pot here, maybe let it hang over the edge, because when I'm potting, I line pots all the way up along here. So I felt that it would be better to get these little angle pieces out of the way. So out of a uh, four foot sheet of plywood, four foot by eight foot, this is what we had left. Um, those are our scraps. We utilized the whole piece of plywood, a few angle brackets in here. There's five across the back. I got two on each end and then one in here. And uh, it's, it's pretty darn rigid. So again, and there it is, it's setting on two sawhorses ready to start potting. So there's your legless potting bench. I'm Mike McGrody from freeplants.com.